Streets begging has been a thorn in the flesh for decades across some states. The problem may not be far from lack of good strategies and policies to deal with the manis. At old age, this blind man has found a new way of life off the streets. Every day, he's been led by his adolescent daughter to the center, built for the blind, to perfect his new skill, the art of manufacturing locally made pillows. This modest building in remote Stashena, Zaiki local government area of Bochi State, reflects his indigent status. He lives here with his wife and 12 children. This is where the visually impaired man calls home. The room is poorly ventilated and he sleeps here on this mat with his wife and the other children. This is a makeshift hangar where their clothes are hung and other things of course. And the rest of the clothes are kept in a sack and this is an ancient way of decorating the room. That's all they've got here. The center also accommodates children of the blind. The idea is to train the children to look after their parents when they become weak. Apart from learning skills, they generate income from what is produced. Stashed here are pillows made by them. Each sells at 500 naira, and in a month they make sales of at least 20 pillows with a profit of 100 naira on each. Furniture is also manufactured here for the local markets. The center was built through the community and social development project, a World Bank assisted intervention in partnership with the state government. It's a demand-driven project which allows ownership after a group or community contributes 5 or 10 percent of the total sum. It's an ability in disability, so we are trying to showcase it around Bauchi State for other vulnerable Kuru to see that, yes, with little help, these people can be taken up from the street. I'm happy to say that of all the development projects that we have had in Bauchi, there is none that has a far-reaching impact and influence on the lives of the people, like the community and social development project. A similar center has also been built in Chinedi, a Kuyam local government area of Bochi State. In their case, they engage in informal learning, while also generating income from selling water to residents of the community, in addition to rental services. State and federal governments could replicate this project to solve the problem of street begging while also helping the vulnerable get a new lease of life. Hajara Ali, Channels Television News.